We are INSEC, a metal additive manufacturing technology specialist company located at the heart of South Korea. We develop metal 3D printers and we specialize in multi-material deposition technology. Today, we will introduce a brand new research method using direct energy deposition with a focus on high entropy alloys with a study case in nickel, cobalt, molybdenum, titanium and aluminium alloys. Investigating the potential of the CVM clogged vibration method and the powder filling system for rapid alloy scanning. Today, we will cover briefly what are HEA high entropy alloys and our new methodology for addressing the current limitations regarding the construction of new alloys with the current methodologies. High entropy alloys are also known as HEA and refers to materials conformed by five or more elements with an atomic ratio of 5 to 35 at a specific percentage based on the composition of the alloy, which resembles the crystal structure of a single face. Alternatively, alloys can be characterized by a mixture of a nearly equal portions on a composition entropy basis with an entropy array greater than 1.6 R at room temperature regardless of their faces. Although these two definitions seem to be different, both aim to the same goal. In high entropy alloys, intermetallic compounds are not formed. Even if the alloy components increase due to the high entropy effects, the elements form a solid solution and have a relative single phase structure resulting in severe lattice distortion and provide to the material with excellent strength and hardness characteristics while stressing and straining. Thus, material can have excellent material properties such as high strength, high hardness, high corrosion resistance and high oxidation resistance. These properties make HEA an attractive and innovative material that encourage the efforts in research and development to discover new applications that will enable the future across industries and technologies. This graph shows the excellence of HEAs in yield strength and fracture toughness, compared to other materials such as ceramics and polymers, including regular metals and alloys, the HEA show a high functional material performance with an excellent material properties compared to others. This is why these materials are so important to focus on. As we mentioned before, HEAs contain more than five elements compared to conventional alloys and super alloys. The high entropy alloys present countless opportunities to explore in materials in comparison with the traditional methods which present limitations at the time of selecting the new material composition of the alloy. The number of combinations provided by HEAs are infinite. Although high entropy alloys present numerous opportunities for research and scientists, currently finding and developing these materials is still a very difficult task. Even though industrial needs for this type of material are increasing, Delivering successful and varied solutions is a challenge that until now has not been properly addressed. Conventionally, there are two main methods for creating high entropy alloys. The first method is alloy powder, which utilizes an atomization process for conforming the HEAs. The second method is mixing powder, which conforms the HEAs by implementing a ball mill process. Both methods require the assistance of a post-process such as a spark plasma, cold compaction or additive manufacturing to obtain the final alloy. Instec has created a new method for researching multi-materials that shortens and facilitates exponentially the creation of high entropy alloys, introducing a disruptive technology based on a CVM and multi-material powder delivery system designed specifically for DED 3D printing technologies. With conventional methods, one high entropy alloy can be processed per iteration, and changing the composition of the specimen requires to start the entire process from the initial stage to select once more the elements for obtaining the desired result. 
Thus, restarting the process takes from few days to weeks to prepare again the specimen for creating a new HEA. Contrary to the current methods, the CVM fitting system facilitates the modification of the specimen composition by accurately controlling the powder fitting rate during the deposition. This makes the process simpler and efficient, reducing the production time of multiple samples from few weeks to few hours per iteration. Instead, new methodology has proven to optimize the composition processes for HEAs compared to traditional methods providing advancements in the AM field. The CVM powder feeding system has six powder feeder blocks and they can supply different powder amounts individually, by groups, or all together at the same time providing at the end of the system the mixed powder that will be deposited to create the specimen. For single material deposition, it is possible to activate only one unit of the CVM to supply one specific type of powder for a single material specimen. When dual material deposition is required, the CVM activates the second feeder block automatically. To increase the amount of powder for the same specimen, the CPM system has the possibility to increase the amount of the material delivered by simply changing the powder input while printing. When the alloy is conformed by five or six elements, the CVM can activate all of them simultaneously to provide the sample with a specific powder amount from each powder material. The following data represents the stability of the material delivery of the CVM powder feeding system. We obtain a successful supply rate at the minimum of 0.03 grams per minute during a period of time of 7 hours uninterrupted based on titanium powder. We are the first company in the world in achieving such stable results with our patent protected technology. The CVM is one of the key components involved in our success for creating stable, high-entropy alloys. In addition, we have developed, along with the MX Lab, our core software named Material Designer to support researchers with specimens design and processes. With this software, the entire process from geometry sample design to composition is easily integrated in an all-in-one solution package that allows the researchers of the world to create and modify material composition easier than ever before. The data conversion of the specimen, the NC code file, is easily generated and imported into the 3D printer machine in as simple as one click. With the AutoSET feature, the MX Lab vision system measures the space between the nozzle and the specimen and regulates the distance constantly throughout the printing process to maintain 9 milli as a focusing point. It is important to control the laser focusing distance to get constant energy density to grow the material beads. The following video shows briefly the capabilities of the MX Lab and the CVM making a full specimen of one high entropy alloy which validates a rapid alloy scanning mechanism. The CVM, along with the MX Lab, allowed us to target the characteristics of our specimen for 3D printing and analyzing the samples to create high entropy alloys and for smoothing operations within our experimentation. To select the target composition, we search about applications using the AM technology According to Hoyer's report, there is a need for high temperature materials in about 65.5% of the 3D printing applications from the automotive and aerospace to defense and power generation industries. For example, nickel-based superalloys have a reinforced gamma prime phase which enhances the mechanical properties of the specimen such as mechanical strength, oxidation resistance and corrosion resistance in environments superior to 1000 Celsius degrees.
Therefore, in this research, we created and validated a new method for innovating the making of new high entropy alloys, which have high temperature properties needed in diverse industries. We focused our study on nickel based alloys and cobalt based alloys, which have gamma prime phases and mix them to obtain the benefits of raw materials. For our research, we designed an HEA utilizing mainly nickel and cobalt. Besides, to generate the gamma prime phase, we added titanium and aluminium. And to increase the gamma prime phase volume structure, we also added more lipton. Our research objectives are to produce nickel, cobalt, molybdenum, titanium, aluminium, high entropy alloy using direct energy deposition additive manufacturing technology with CVM powder fitting system, and to verify the effectiveness of the DED AM technology using our CVM powder fitting system for HEA manufacturing. For producing these high entropy alloy samples, we have created a combinatorial alloy map and designed various composition cases to assist our experimentation. In general, when developing a new alloy, the composition design is carried out by predicting the section where defects will occur in the pens. However, the actual specimen might present cracks contrary to our projections. In this study, the composition range that causes cracks was confirmed in a short period of time through the actual test. The optimal composition range was quickly and easily configured, and finally, nine specimens could be stacked at once. As a result, in the energy dispersion X-ray spectrometer analysis, we could observe that all nine samples satisfied the target range. And from the nine targeted specimens, we could obtain promising results from one of them. The following data reflects the results of sample number three, which compared to the others presented the best performance during the EDS mapping analysis. The element mapping during the SEM analysis or scanning electron microscopy was performed using a magnification of 50x to observe the five elements that verify that the high entropy alloy has been conformed without any segregations. Due to intellectual property matters, we are unable to disclose further information regarding the composition of the samples. We thank you in advance for your comprehension. We heat treated this sample at 1250 Celsius degrees for microstructural homogenization and aging it at 900 Celsius degrees. During the SEM analysis, the main characteristics of the heat-treated microstructure, gamma and gamma prime spaces were observed. In nickel-based superalloys, this is a key factor for achieving high temperature properties. We could corroborate the presence of this property to the XRD analysis, X-ray diffraction, and we could identify before and after the heat treatment the FCC single phase. In addition, after aging the sample, an additional gamma prime was observed in the phase center cubic phase, which strongly confirms the presence of this property in our specimen. As a result of the X-ray diffraction analysis of the H molybdenum alloy, the lattice misfit ratio of gamma and gamma prime was about 0.28% and as a result of the differential scanning calorimeter analysis of the H molybdenum alloy, the Y prime solvus temperature was observed at 1202 Celsius degrees. The gamma prime phase typically has the solvus temperature at around 1100 Celsius degrees. Compared to the solvus temperature of the gamma prime according to the cobalt content, the high entropy alloy sample produced in this study showed a difference of more than 100 Celsius degrees. 
These experiments demonstrate that DED AM technology with CBM power definition system is simpler than traditional methods, making it cost effective and time saving. Also, it has been verified that the material properties of the manufactured samples can also achieve excellent results. For making the nine different high entropy alloy specimens, we tracked each step to measure the time needed for manufacturing the samples. 60 minutes were required to set the stacking conditions used for the new alloy, about 20 minutes to define the sample modeling and parameter settings, and after obtaining the ANSI file, it took 180 minutes to stack the nine specimens with the MX lab. In only 4 hours and 20 minutes, we produced the entire batch of samples with different types of high entropy alloys from powder preparation to final prints, with a total amount of powder used around 500 grams, based on a 2.3 grams per minute during deposition for the entire experiment. In conclusion, the results of this study can be summarized as follows. The EDS and XRD analysis shows that the produced high entropy alloys with DED AM using the CBM fitting system, the nickel, cobalt, molybdenum, titanium, aluminium alloys were successful without any segregation of the FCC single phase of the specimen. One sample out of nine of nickel, cobalt, molybdenum, titanium, aluminium presented a stable gamma-gamma prime phase. The DSC analysis shows that the alloy have high temperature properties with excellent solvent temperature higher than 1200 Celsius degrees. Direct energy deposition additive manufacturing technologies using the CVM fitting system can quickly do alloy scanning with various element compositions, making this technology the first of its kind for optimizing and finding super alloys such as high entropy alloys. In addition to the HEA methodologies, it is possible to implement other multi-material composition methods such as FGM, functional graded materials, and MMCs, metal matrix composites. Besides the creation of HEAs, with the MX Lab and the CVM powder fitting system, it is also possible to explore multi-materials, such as metal matrix composite alloys. Similarly, alloys with the structure of FGM or functionally graded materials can also be produced with the CVM and the MX Lab. Multiple applications can be found while exploring the infinite possibilities of the material research within STEC. For further information and inquiries about research, technology and machines, do not hesitate in contacting with us. We are here for you. Thank you. Have a nice day.